And to originally get it started, you know, share with us. No, 1.8 million revenue, sorry. Share, yeah. share with us the vision in the beginning. So people upload, you know, you're creating a community. What was the vision? What was the desire? And, and how is this so different from what you saw at, at AMG with Michael Ovitz? Oh, so um, it, was an, it was a very, uh, there was a program called Winamp. Winamp was how you listen to your MP3s. I built Winamp Facelift. So Winamp Facelift w was how you would get skins for Winamp so you could make it look cool. I met artists uh, on Winamp Facelift. As did our, our other co-founders have a different story. My story is Winamp Facelift. So, so um, you know, for them it was that they built other skin sites. But for all of us it was that there was this software movement and there was really cool designers and artists who were making these pieces of software look great. And I built Winamp Facelift. It was huge. And then customize.org was built, and it was by the guy that built Winamp Facelift for me in exchange for server resources for a new project, <laughs> right? And so Mark launches customize.org. The next, you know, three months later, kills the thing he built for me on my servers. So he, <laughs> so he launches this thing, and, um, and then ultimately DeviantArt was the same concept, but instead of just skins, the artists on these platforms were saying, hey, we'd love to post our paintings, we'd love to post our photographs, you know, not just our skins, which we have all these things. And so we built the platform that would allow you to create categories dynamically uh, based on community response and feedback. And this crushed, and you know, so now Mark can take that.